Welcome back to Jack's Tech Corner and another Photoshop Elements 13 video tutorial. Now I say 13 and I stress 13 because no other version has this new Compose tool in it. What the Compose tool will allow you to do, if you're like myself and my wife, a lot of times we take vacations or weekend trips and we may not want to carry the tripod with us. So what we tend to do is we tend to stage ourselves and we take a picture of, I, first I take a picture of my wife and then I'll get in the same area and I'll take a picture of myself. Well, you want to merge those together to make it look like you're a couple and make it look like you were, you know, somewhere together. So in order to do that, you have to be able to merge these photos together. And I've showed you a lot of ways in the past how to do that. But today with Photoshop Elements 13, it's so much easier because now they built a tool in to allow us to use and make it very, very simple. The first thing we're going to do here is we're going to look down at the photo bin. At the photo bin at the bottom of your Photoshop Elements editor, at the top you see we're in expert mode. In the photo bin on the bottom, if you don't see the photo bin and you're, um, you see the tools instead, just click on photo bin. And these are the two photos that we have to have open. So the first thing to remember is have two photos open, yourself and your spouse, yourself and your girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. Uh, maybe it could be a picture of two trees you're going to merge together. This this will work with anything, not just people. But what I found out is the background image, wherever you're going to use the background image, put that on the left. So just drag it over there. And the image we're going to put on top of our layers, if you remember the top layers, how we do layers, the one that we're extracting on top will be on the right. Go up now to Enhance and go to Photo Merge. And then Photo Merge Compose. When we click on that, it's going to walk us through this with some basic instructions. Now, again, this is new to Photoshop Elements 13, so don't think that you know you're going to go to Photoshop Elements 11 and do this uh, do this edit because you're not going to be able to do it. You have to upgrade to 13 for this. To get started, drag and drop um, the photo you would like to extract an object from to the canvas. The canvas being the background. Use the selection tool and then drag over the area. Okay, so number one, first, let's drag a picture up here. I want to use me. I want to extract me out of this picture. So I'm going to pull this up there. Now, I can use either outline, refine, or quick. We're going to use quick selection. Now, we're going to just select over me here. So we can select over. And, you know, do a pretty good job in your selection. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, Photoshop Elements is pretty forgiving. And uh, there's ways to clean this after we get it all selected. And we're just going to select this up here. Make sure you get all the pieces you want selected, though. If you are a little bit outside the lines, a little bit extra, that's okay because you can clean that up. And right now, I'm just using my mouse and just making a selection. Just like so. Well, now you see back here, my pants are not selected, so I want to make sure everything's selected in there. My elbows in there because you don't want this to look too funny when you pull it over. All right, once you're pretty sure you have everything selected, go down and click on the next button. And what's going to do now is photo merge and pull that person or that object into the other picture. You can see right here, it did a pretty good job. There I am, and it pulled me out of the other picture. Now, there's a couple problems here. And what I see is the problem, if you look at this, first of all, I don't look the same size. It's not proportional to that, to my wife. So I'm going to grab the top edge here and just pull up on that a little bit until I make it look proportional. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my feet down here by her. Pull up a little bit more on this. Uh, something like that. And what we're looking for here is just size differences. So we're going to pull it over a little bit. And what else you'll notice is that my feet have shoes on it. She took her shoes off. She was standing in the ocean there in the Pacific. Uh, and uh, I am not. I have my shoes on. So we're going to have to clean that up a little bit and fix that. So we're going to pull me back out here just a little bit. And then we're going to play with that. So once I get it up set about where, and I can move this again. Once I get it set, I'm going to just click the little checkbox there. And now I am kind of set where I want to be. What we're going to do now, though, is we're going to hide some of this. Remember I told you, you don't have to be perfect at selecting anything in Photoshop Elements. You can actually make some of these selections 
as you're working with this. So this is to hide and reveal. And if you've watched my videos, we talked a lot about layer masks, and that's exactly what this is doing, but it's kind of doing it without you even knowing it's happening. So we're gonna hide some stuff. We're gonna come up here to, to the top of my hat where I told you about the uh, cleaning it up here. And we're gonna clean this up just a little bit around there, get rid of some of that sky around my face, just to kind of make it look, you know, a little bit more realistic. And it just takes a little bit of time. And for all the people out there that's going to email me and say, Jack, you did a terrible job. This is for the sake of videos. This is for the sake of teaching you. Uh, mine doesn't have to be perfect. You know, yours will. Yours will be perfect. And what we're going to do here, let me get rid of some of this here around my camera bag. Right here around my neck. You can see that we can clean that up pretty good. If you make a mistake, like up here in my hat, I made, let's say I cut half that hat off. Go back over to the right, click on reveal, and then just work back on that hat, build that hat back up. And hide again, we're going to take some of that blue off of there. And just like that. Now what I thought I would do to make this picture even better merged, okay, because we're merging these two photos together, so we have to kind of make it believable. Me with my tennis shoes on in the water is probably not that believable. So I was playing with this earlier and I thought I could remove my feet and put me in the water. So let's try that. We're going to hide my feet now. So I'm just going to make my brush size bigger using my left and right bracket key. And we're just going to take this off here. Actually, that worked out quicker than I thought it would. So what I did was I just put my feet in the water, right? So that's my wife's feet in the water now, my feet's in the water. It looks pretty realistic. Now what we're going to do is click on Next again, since we have everything revealed and hidden the way we want it. We can auto match color tone if you want to do that. You, By all means, you can do that. You can work with the temperature, the saturation, and you know the colors and everything if you want to do that. What I want to show you to do here is we're going to knock some of this brightness down here in the background. So remember, we're on the expert mode, and we're kind of using a guided tool here. So click on Done. And this is the overall edit effect right here. So this is the overall effect. You can see I'm on my own layer. Actually, right here, I am. And if you want to clean it more, you can even come in here and clean it up even more. If you wanted to do that, just use your eraser tool and clean that stuff up. Uh, let's turn this background back on. But what I was looking at when I was playing with this was the background is a little light, a little blown out. So what I want to do here is I'm going to merge these together. So hold your shift key down, click on the bottom layer, right click, merge layers, make it into one. Now what you want to do is do a command or control J, duplicate that, and now you have this layer. So I'm just going to shut the background layer off and I have layer one. The last thing in this edit I wanted to do was just to clean it up a little bit. So I'm going to make a selection here. And we're going to just make a quick selection here. Uh, selection brush. I don't really want to mask it. We'll make a selection. And I'm just going to make a selection here, just a quick selection. Let's go fast here. Because I wanted to show you one more step that we can do here to, to really drive this picture home. Really like that brush. Let's use this. There we go. To really drive this home and to make it this edit a little bit better, um, because the photo merge is done. But whenever you do a photo merge, the one thing you got to worry about is lighting. So many times I'll merge something together and I'll get a ton of emails and they'll start saying, "Jack, look, that doesn't look good because the lighting is all off or whatever." Why? Off here. Get this back to my wife. And we're just moving this stuff around here just a little bit. You can see my selection tool here. And now we're just going to uh, add a little bit more right here on her shoes and her purse. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add me in here. So again, I'll just make a quick selection here of me. 
And what we're going to do next is we're going to, and the reason we're doing this, subtract a little bit off my back of my hip here, or my thigh. Now we're going to go to select, and we're going to invert. Now I'll do a command or control J. What you want to have is you want to have the scenery without the people. So what I did, I erased the people out just by selecting us, doing invert. And once you invert, then you go ahead and you simply um, do a command or control J and you can make this new layer. Why did we want to do that? I want to add lighting or take lighting away from that layer. Take some of the exposure down from this background to bring the people out a little bit more. And the only way I can do that is I need the background because I don't want to affect I don't want to affect me and my wife. So now we're going to go up to the create an adjustment layer and we're going to go down to the levels. And now watch what I do with levels. If I take my levels and I just slide my levels, it's going to affect myself and my wife also, right? It'll affect all the layers. So what we want to do here, I can't get that set just right. So I'm going to just delete that layer. And I'm going to do it again, go to levels. But this time I want to do a control G, con command or control G. What that's going to do is group it with the first layer underneath of it. Now I can control the background without affecting my wife and myself. Let's do that. You can see here we can lower the background down and you can see the lighting on myself and my wife is not changing. So you just want to make it believable. You want to get to the point where it's just believable and then click OK. Once you get all that done, to take this out and have it developed, all you got to do then is leave the background layer alone. I would take, now let's grab the background layer. So uncheck that. Hold your shift key down, right click on it and merge all the layers. And now we have one picture here that we can take and we will actually take that out and have that developed. So, and you merged two people together. Folks, this is a very, very easy edit to do. Uh, Photoshop Elements 13 has made it so much easier to bring people together just by guiding along and we've done it in the past you know by uh, a lot more editing in the expert mode but it works really really well folks if you've enjoyed this video please check out my learning series at jtclearning.com um, when you go to jtclearning.com just click on the courses button at the top of the page and the courses will show you what courses are available uh, right now you can take the full photoshop elements uh, 12 video tutorials um, you know they're very inexpensive and they're there for you to, to take. And I hope that you uh, will sign up for those courses. If you want to order the DVD, I do have the Photoshop Elements 12 DVD still available uh, for shipping. You can check that out at jackstechcorner.com and purchase the DVD. With that said, if nothing else, if you if you don't can't afford them, that's fine. But if you do a lot of shopping on Amazon, please go to either, uh, please go to jackstechcorner.com and use my Amazon link. Anytime you buy anything from Amazon, use my Amazon link, and that definitely helps you shows out and helps me to buy the new software because Adobe doesn't give me this software. Um, I have to purchase this every year just like you do, uh, or Lightroom or whatever else I teach. I have to buy the software just like you buy it. Folks, thank you so much for watching this episode of Jack's Tech Corner in Photoshop Elements 13, and I'll see you back here in the next video. Bye for now.